this episode, we're gonna do a quick review of the Pirelli Soto Zeros on my C5 Corvette. Let's get started. Everybody, if you don't follow this channel already, I do daily drive my C5 Corvette. Consider hitting that subscribe button if you want to know more about what it's like to do that. So if you watched my last episode, I talked a little bit about whether or not I thought it was worthwhile running a second set of winter tires on my C5 Corvette. On this episode, I'm going to talk a little bit more specifically about the tires I chose, which were the Pirelli Soto 03s. Now, right up front, I want to say that I am running stock C5 size, which means it is staggered. Uh, I believe it's 245 40R 17s in the front and 275 35R 18s in the back. So the very first thing I, I do want to talk about is handling. Right up front, uh, when it comes to dry handling, I thought these did really well. I expected them to do a little bit worse, uh, honestly, compared to the summer tires. But again, I'm not really pushing my Corvette very hard, either in the summer or in the winter. And when I did push it, probably the same limits, I really felt that the, the winter tires did really well. Again, obviously I'm not tracking it or drag racing it or any of that stuff. Um, but I thought they did really, really well in dry weather. When it comes to snow, this is where the Pirellis are gonna shine, right? So unfortunately, as I mentioned in my last video, I did get caught in a snowstorm one time with summer tires and I do not ever suggest it. Just don't bother taking it out. But when it came to running in the snow with these snow tires, these did phenomenal, right? I only set the traction control off twice. Again, in the snow, you are driving a little bit more carefully. So there's that to consider. But I still didn't have any issues when it came to starting from a standstill. The car always took off uh, really well. The, like I said, the only time I set the two traction controls off um, was once. It was definitely an accident. But the second time, I was actually trying to see how much grip I had in the snow, how much power I could give the car. And it was more than I expected, I would say that. So the other thing I do want to talk a little bit about is noise. I expected these to be very noisy. Um, they obviously have a different tread pattern than a summer tire, but I was actually pleasantly surprised at how quiet these are. These tires are actually quieter than my summer tires. Now that could be the fact that my summer tires are getting near the end of their life. I think they have about 30, 35,000 miles on them maybe now. These Pirelli Soto Zeros were really quiet. The only time I heard any real like noise was when I went above 75 or 70 on the highway. That's when you start to get a little bit of that whistle. And honestly, the only way you would ever hear it is if you rolled down your window. So the Corvette's fairly noisy on the interior uh, compared to a lot of other cars out there. Uh, probably most people would be putting Pirelli Soto Zeros on not a sports car, but with the car being a little bit noisier, I had to still roll down the window to hear any kind of whistle off of the tires. So the other thing I did want to mention is that the ride quality is on these tires is going to be a little bit rougher compared to summer tires. And that has really nothing more to do than the fact that these summer tires um, are a softer rubber and the winter tires are gonna be a harder rubber. So that's just something to keep in mind. If you're switching back and forth, you are gonna notice a slight difference in ride quality. Again, I wouldn't say that this ride quality is bad in any way. I'm actually really happy with it, uh, all things considered. All right, so there is something I did not like about my winter tires, and I'm gonna mention this real quick. Uh, I honestly didn't see any reviews on this until after I had purchased my winter tires, so the one thing I noticed about these, uh, if you live in a pothole infested area like I do, you're gonna find a little bit of trouble with these tires. Unfortunately, I do my best to avoid potholes, but that's not always the case. They do tend to sneak up on you, at least in my area. And if you hit one, there's a pretty good chance you may end up with a bubble in your tire. Now I do have a bubble in my right, I'm sorry, my left front tire. And uh, I am gonna have them replaced on uh, road hazard insurance. But the thing is, is because of the area I live in, I'm pretty sure that eventually it may happen again. I'm not really happy with the performance in that aspect because for me, at least because of where I live, potholes are always synonymous, if I can speak correctly, is always synonymous with winter. So the fact that a winter tire would be prone to potholes kind of uh, annoys me. So ultimately, would I recommend Pirelli Soto Zeros? So 
If you live in a pothole infested area like I do, I would not recommend these. Ultimately going forward, I'm likely going to purchase a different set of tires. Um, if I continue on the switching from summer to winter, I'm going to purchase a different set, a different brand of tire um, just to see if it performs better. Of course, I am going to do a ton more research than I did before, which is funny because I did a ton of research on these originally. There's just not many comments on what happens when you had a pothole, I guess. But ultimately, I would not recommend these if you live in a pothole infested area. If you live in an area that sees winter but doesn't get a lot of potholes, yeah, you know what? These tires are phenomenal in that aspect. I'm really happy with these tires. Uh, handling, ride quality, sound, all of them, all of those seem to be really, really highly rated, at least in my book, and I'm really happy with them in that aspect. So I would recommend if you live in an area that doesn't see a whole lot of potholes. So with that being said, thank you guys for sticking around and watching this video. Uh, please hit that subscribe button and like if you like this content. And I will see you on the next episode.